future of broadband in India. India has made headlines in recent years as overall internet use among residents has gone up at an increasing rate. Yet most of these gains are in mobile internet access and public access points. While people use the internet on their mobile phones, at cyber cafes and public Wi-Fi hotspots, less than 2% of households have a fixed internet connection. And even the mobile penetration remains low, at 23% for the whole country. Rural India lacks smartphones and the internet connections are often patchy and slow, due to a lack of internet infrastructure. This leaves the vast majority of Indians with limited ways to engage deeply with internet technology. While accessing information and posting simple files like images online is easy to do from a smartphone, writing code, studying or building a website really requires a fixed connection. While India continued its struggle with low broadband penetration during 2016, there was some cause for cheer. On the back of Digital India and various other policy and regulatory initiatives, as well as the mass rollout of 4G services, the country managed to cross the inflection point. And the coming year promises to witness a significantly improved broadband scenario. Fiber deployments also gained traction across the industry. BharatNet finally picked up pace, which bodes well for rural broadband penetration. Bharti Airtel pushed fiber deployments in a big way, particularly through its new V-Fiber launches. Further, the finalization of the right-of-way ROW, rules will streamline the processes for fiber installation, addressing one of the biggest bottlenecks in the industry. The government sees the need for massive investment to roll out broadband to rural areas in over 600 districts via fiber optic and other technologies, which can be expensive and time-consuming. Deployment of Wi-Fi network gaining pace now, the Indian government is stepping up its own efforts. It plans to provide free Wi-Fi to 1,050 villages across the vast country under a new pilot project known as Digital Village. Over the next six months, each village will get its own Wi-Fi hotspot mounted on a special tower to which villagers can connect using their cell phones. Global tech firms and Indian internet providers are racing to grab a piece of the country's unconnected population of more than 900 million people. Philip to fixed broadband last mile connectivity through fiber to the X, FTTX, deployments has been increasing, albeit at a slow pace. Vodafone's acquisition of U broadband was a key move, indicating the growing relevance of last mile fiber infrastructure in an operator's portfolio to ensure competitiveness. As part of the deal, Vodafone acquired around 3,000 km of the latter's optic fiber and 6,000 km of last mile cables to connect homes across 12 cities, including Mumbai, an important market for data. Regional service providers such as ACT Broadband and U Broadband, and cable multiple system operators have been leading the growth in fixed broadband connections recently. While these private regional players recorded strong net additions, State-owned Bharat Sanchar Nigam Limited, BSNL, and Mohanagar Telephone Nigam Limited, MTNL, continued to report subscription losses. In October 2016, Bharti Airtel enhanced its fiber play by launching V-Fiber technology. This technology is based on vectorization and promises to deliver speeds of up to 100 Mbps. Currently available in Chennai, Bhopal, Pune, Ahmedabad, Indore and Mumbai. It is planned to be rolled out across Airtel's national broadband network and will cover 90 cities. According to the company, V-Fiber will transform home broadband services for Airtel's customers by providing them with consistently super-fast data speeds and enabling HD video streaming and heavy file downloads and uploads in a multi-device environment, over Wi-Fi. Like the video, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest industry news and updates.